Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Buenas noches a todos. Buenas noches, Padre. Primero, le quiero dar gracias por estos 20 años. Eh, le quiero dar gracias a mis hermanos sacerdotes para acompañarme. Thank you, Your Excellency, for joining me and on my 20th anniversary and on the feast of our town and of our parish. Thank you, Your Excellency. Can we thank him for that? Quiero darle gracias a mis amigos, al Padre Tony, a Father Zachary, a Father Scott, y a Father Tom, who is here. Gracias, hermanos, también. A mis, al uh, Brother Ryan, que viene de Estados Unidos. Brother Ryan just arrived to stay here permanently. This is his new home. Is this is here with me? Welcome home, brother. Welcome home. Thank you for being my friend, amigo. Le quiero dar gracias también a las hermanas por ser amigas mías, eh, a la hermana Trinidad, a la hermana Teresita y dos hermanas también de mi comunidad que vienen de lejos, eh, Sister Joy and Sister Holy Hope. Thank you for joining me on my 20th anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, I want to thank, uh, in particular, my family. Uh, like good Mexicans, I think my family arrived a little late to mass. Uh, <laughs> so my niece is way in the back over there, Daniela and Paolo, could you maybe stand just, so this is my niece and her family over there, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And this is uh, my sister, mi hermana Ana Maria and her husband, if you could stand, please. Thank you. Nina, I publicly said that we're going to dance together, so we're on, I put you on the spot I saw there tonight. <laughs> so I, 20 years ago today, I was ordained in the Cathedral of Corpus Christi uh, by, um, by Bishop Edmund Carmody, my ordaining bishop. And, and Bishop Gracida was there too, so two bishops were there. It was a great joy to be ordained with three other brothers. One of them, Father Neil, is already in heaven. And for me, God continues my mission. Dios continúa mi misión. When I discerned to become a priest, God said beautiful words to me that motivated me. And I'll quote his words. He called me to follow him, to walk with him to oh so many places. I remember those specific words he said, we're going to walk together to oh so many places. I didn't know so many places would bring me to San Pedro, but praise God here. But then he, yes. <laughs> the Lord said these beautiful words to me. I remember he said, to work with him on touching those untouched hearts. He needs me to proclaim his word. So those were two things that he wanted me to always do. Work with him, because when I start working by myself, it goes downhill very quickly. When I'm working with Jesus, things go well. I've learned that the hard way sometimes. But to work with him at touching many untouched hearts. There's so many untouched hearts by his love. And, and we, we got to work with him to do that. That's the mission he gave me. And then he said, he needs me to proclaim his word. And so I love to proclaim God's word. I really work hard at proclaiming God's word. But that was the mission that he gave me originally. There were two th things that, that impacted my life. Dos cosas que me impactaron muy fuerte. Dos muertes. La primera muerte fue la... La muerte de mi hermano Fernando. El papá de Daniela. Esa me impactó porque yo estaba en la universidad y cuando mi hermano murió, Fernando, eso me despertó. ¿Por qué estoy vivo? ¿Por qué estoy estudiando cálculo? When my brother died when I was in college, Daniela's father, it impacted me very much. I questioned myself, why am I alive? Why am I studying calculus? What's the purpose of calculus three? You know, why am I, what's the purpose of my life? And the only answer I found was God. And I searched, I thought deeply. Y la única respuesta que yo encontré fue Dios. Y en ese momento yo empecé a caminar con Dios. Gracias a Dios por la muerte de mi hermano, porque su muerte dio vida a mí. 
Y yo por eso trato de ser el mejor sacerdote que yo pueda ser. Mi sobrina Daniela es como una... Es, es como una hija para mí. Porque yo estoy continuando el trabajo de mi hermano. My, my niece Daniela es like a daughter to me. Because my brother when he died, that was his only daughter. And so I... I I've sort of raised her spiritually from afar for many years, and I'm so blessed that she's here today. The other death that affected me deeply was my mother. I was already in the seminary, and this time I got angry with God. I said, God, I gave you everything, and you're not giving me this miracle. And I threatened God, if she dies, I don't know if I'm still going to love you. And she still died. But God healed me very powerfully. One day I'll tell you about that in a retreat or something. And now I love God. It was a miracle for me that I could even love God after that. But not only did I love God more, I, I love God more than I did before. And I understood that my, God loved my mother so much in me. I didn't understand why she died, but I could not doubt his love for me and his love for my mom. The one who gave me the strength to be at her side was my sister, Ana Maria, who's here. I remember we were in 1997, five years before she died. Uh, when I was in the seminary, my sister and I were taking care of my mom. And, and she gave me the strength the night she died. My sister, one day, hours before my mother died, she turned to me and said, this is going to be part of her crown of glory in heaven. And I remember I turned to her and I said, man, you got strong faith. Because I was like spaghetti. I was like spineless. I was like dying there. I wanted to like die. It's so much pain. Thank you for strengthening me, Nena. You, have given, you gave me the strength now with God to minister to so many people that have died throughout my 20 years as a priest, to be with them, even here in San Pedro, to prepare them for heaven. It's a great gift. My mother died five years before my ordination. But at my ordination 20 years ago today, she, her, felt, her presence was so strong. La presencia de mi mamá estaba en mi ordenación fuerte, aunque ella había muerto cinco años anterior. Today I feel her presence again. Aquí está mi mamá conmigo. My mom is here with me right now. And I know she's happy. Yo sé que está feliz mi mamá. Gracias mamá por rezar por mí. I'm here because of her prayers. Yo estoy aquí por sus oraciones. Si no fueran por las oraciones de mamá, nunca me hubiera hecho sacerdote. If it wasn't for the prayers of my mom, I would never have become a priest. So I know she's here right now. And I felt her presence. So thank you so much uh, for, for, to God. Thank you for my mom. Thank you for my dad. Thank you for all those from heaven praying for me that made this day possible. And, uh, but now it's time to celebrate. So I want to invite you guys to, uh, to a party where we're going to celebrate the virtue in our community. We're going to give rewards to our youth. We're going to give scholarships. We're going to give the virtuous man of the year. We're going to go virtuous. Well. We're going to celebrate virtue in our parish, in our community. And then we're just going to celebrate and dance. And I, I will dance with my sister, I promise that. So we invite you to come and join us at the high school. Uh, come and join us at the high school for this celebration. Ven y nos acompañan en el high school para celebrar juntos este día de nuestra patrón. Gracias. Thank you very much.